Hello everybody, and welcome back to Doki Doki. I would like to say, um, the game save did delete itself again, and I had to restart. Um, yeah, it wasn't the best time. So, it, I don't know. If it keeps on doing that, I don't know what I'll do. Like, I really don't want to end this. I really do like this game. But at the same time, if it's not gonna save my progress, I don't know what I'm going to do. But anyway, enough with that, let's get into it. I'm back. And I brought a guest with me. It, oh, eh? A guest? Seriously, who brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the Club Zero. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. So let me guess, you're Monica's boyfriend, right? You're damn right. What? No, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. I thought that he was saying that Yuri had a sour attitude. I was about to say. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Oh god. <coughs> Sorry about that. My throat is killing me. Anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. Alright, so... I just kind of want to bring this up. I don't know, but... In my school, you can't join a club if you're not, like, in the actual high school. Like, there's 9th grade year, and then there's 10 through 12, which is high school. So... I think that Natsuki is just small. I think that's it. She's not a first year. I don't know if that's significant, but that's just what I think, because I keep on hearing it throughout the game. It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So I ran into Zero in a classroom, and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica. Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? Excuse me, but you aren't the president or the vice president, so shut the fuck up, Natsuki. I was going to, well, you know. Sorry. Oh, oh she has something planned. I was about to say, if it's just for no reason, there's no need to be a dick. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. So there's something going on with Natsuki. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Zero? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. <clears throat> Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So, uh, I know you didn't really plan on coming here. But we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like festivals that much more important. So the festival is still going on. Alright, I'm trying to figure out the timeline here. Because it kind of restarted after Nets... I mean, not Natsuki. Uh, Sayori killed herself. So yeah, I'm not quite sure how far apart things are now. Like, the festival could be tomorrow or it could be like... Four days in the game. Who the hell knows? I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. <clears throat> Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to f just find these two. Yuri returns to the table, carrying the tea set. 
She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in this room? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? No. I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. No, I really don't. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Zero, what kinds of things do you read? Um, usually doujins. Well, considering how little I've read these past, these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. I'm sorry, I'll read slower. Sometimes I fuck it up when I read too fast. I do apologize. Anga? Yeah. I muttered quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Yeah, she's a weeb like me. It turns. Wait, it looks. Like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Excuse me! Manga is reading. What the fuck do you think? Alright. I'm getting triggered over nothing. Well, that can change. Why do you think I'm looking at the manga? What the fuck do you think I'm doing? What am I saying? I spoke without thinking, after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? <clears throat> well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. We already went through all of this. I don't know, I'm kind of tempted to skip past this, but I don't want to miss anything. Because some things might change. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, uh, I, uh, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped grasp something I can relate to at a minimum level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Haha, <laughs> I'd expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Is that so? Really, if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world. If only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. <clears throat> It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't say it out loud And give that back Fine, fine Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes Why do you care? I think that's impressive Why don't you share them sometime? No Natsuki adverts her eyes you wouldn't like them. Ah, not very confident writer yet. I understand how that Suki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up your 
up, open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerable abilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Honestly, Yuri, you're that one person that's just the douche in the group. You don't have to use those big words, you know. We, we can talk simple. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Eh, I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Eh? The fuck was that noise? I'm trying to do sound effects, don't mind me. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. God damn it! Ugh. We have to do this all over again? I guess it won't take as much time, because there's only two girls to write to now. Oh, maybe Monica- alright. We'll, we'll see. <clears throat> then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Ah? Uh, I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I did decide to take on the responsibility of Vice President, after all. So was she the Vice President before? I don't think they ever mentioned it. It must have been either her or Sayori. But yeah, I don't think it mentioned anything about Vice President. I need to do my best to uh, nurture the club as well as its members. Signs, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Zero? Hold on, there's still one problem. And what is that? Oh, right. I get it. Eh, what's that? I'm not in the fucking club. Now that we've reached the most important topic, I won't really come forth with what's been on... Oh, God, I can't talk. What, what's been on my mind the entire time? <clears throat> I never said I would join this club. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um, what, the Weeb Club? I lose my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But... I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> eh? The girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, Zero. Thing is... We don't have enough members yet to form an official club. Right, because, you know, you killed one of them. We need four. And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one more before the festival... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I would feel terrible for letting anyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes widen up. I mean, yeah, all we really do is hang out all day. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. Really? Eh, sure. Do you really mean that, Zero? <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you. Yeah. It could be fun, right? You really scared me for a second. Or, you really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really just left after all this, I would be super pissed. Zero. I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Ah, thanks, I guess. <clears throat> okay, everyone. 
I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Zero, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Okay, well I'm going to save real quick. Just in case. <clears throat> I'm thinking... I don't know, there's three girls now, so... We might end the episode after we read to all three of them. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? It didn't take much before, honestly. <laughs> I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Eh, for a couple of days, yeah. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow close to one of these girls. We did the same exact fucking thing in the first part of the game. Alright. I just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. <clears throat> you have been walked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Why not? Oh, hi there. Well, wasn't that just fucking lovely? Okay. Um, we're still gonna go with Natsuki, because I still find Yuri very boring. So, Bubbles? She likes cute stuff. I remember that. And pink. And food. I try to get all things with... Natsuki. Yeah, that's her name. Uh, anime. She is a weeb like me. Special? Loud. Nibble. Cute. I'm trying really hard. I'm sorry that I'm not talking too much. I just really want to get this. No, color wasn't Natsuki. Um, and Yuri likes pleasure. Fun? Yeah. Sparkle. Pink. Bunny. Giggle. Come on, we almost have it. Don't fuck this up. Oh shit, I don't know. I don't know this one. Um... Jumpy? Yeah. And lastly, Nightgown. We fucking got it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't... Oh my god, why am I so happy about this? I need to fucking stop and talk right. Jesus. Hi again, Zero. <clears throat> Alright, let's go and save because I'm not, I'm not doing that again. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Huh? Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I always keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Even say no. Whoa. Okay then. Thanks for keeping your promise, Zero. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Alright, that one actually did creep me out a little bit. Because <laughs> I didn't know what it fucking was. All I saw was some weird green thing on the right side of the screen. Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. 
What the fuck did I do? You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take it seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Um, M Monica, you're kind of... <laughs> I think this is just a glitch. <laughs> and Hatsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and Manga. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm probably the only one who finds this funny. Okay. Manga is literature. Damn right. <clears throat> Swiftly defeated. Natsuki pops back into her seat. I'm sorry, Zero. Is it just me or does the screen seem a little tilted? Maybe it's just the way that the classroom is. We'll make sure to put your comfort here first, okay? Natsuki... Wait, no, no, no. Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Anyway, now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have some interest in picking up a book to read? Well... I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now. So it only feels right for me to do something like that, if you ask. Wait, I didn't mean it like that. What? If you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Uh, no, it's not that, Yuri. I want to try to be a part of this club. <clears throat> so, even if I don't read often, I'd be pretty happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Are you sure? I just felt like, well, as vice president and all, that I should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. So why are we spending time with Yuri? That's what I'm confused about. Shouldn't we be with Natsuki? I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? It's not... I don't know, like... <clears throat> With me, characters like this, I find them more annoying than cute. But that's just me. She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not like, uh, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone is settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled event. Ah, God, I can't talk. Activities for the club. I see. I thought that it would say events. I need to slow down. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Ugh. Yeah, we're gonna spend time with Natsuki now. Alright, save again. See, ever since my save has been fucking up, I just. I'm just drawn to do this now. I'm sorry. I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. You looking for something in there? Uh... Fucking Monica MMMMMMM. I'm not doing that. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. Um... I guess we'll just ignore that? Okay. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? You're damn right I do. Sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. No, I'll just straight up tell somebody. How did you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. 
Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What is that supposed to mean? I see. There's a lone volume of manga, and then a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. <clears throat> Curious. I pull it out of the stack. There it is! And Suki snatches it out of my hand. Then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box set she's admiring. Parfait girls. Oh, uh, you read cooking manga, you fucking nerd. It's a series I've never heard of in my life. You know, I'm kind of tempted to look this up and see if it's a real thing, but at the same time, I know I wouldn't like it either way. That probably means it's either a way out of my demographic, or it's simply terrible. If you're going to judge, you can go do it through the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Zero. Consider this a lesson- oh. Don't judge a book KKKKKKKK- yeah, I get it. In fact, please nobody sample that. Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Party Fae Girls from the box. <clears throat> I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Uh, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire, striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly moe. Don't just stand there. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, come on, you fucker. Don't laugh. I'm sorry. It's... If you've ever seen My Bride is a Mermaid, I'm thinking... I'm thinking of the Moe part from that, and honestly... No, alright. Pull yourself together, you fucker. Don't just stand there. Uwa? Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall, beneath the window sills. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. <clears throat> Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. You can't read at the same time like that. Eh, why's that? Ah, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Oh... D don't just say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's particularly... Wait a minute. I'm sorry to cut the dialogue there, but this is the exact same thing that happened with Yuri. Isn't it? Huh, okay. <clears throat> Not that I can say it's a, it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her- Oh my god, I can't suck. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Huh? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then. Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Eh? I am, but nothing's really happening yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life affair. Oh, so we're, it's like some lucky star shit. That's cool. I kind of grew out of these, since it's rare for the writing to be, uh, to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. <clears throat> Alright, we will end on that cute fucking face. So, I do want to apologize for, you know, me fucking up my wording and all that. I've already addressed it, uh, probably the last time I'll talk about it. 
my speech and like my throat and stuff, it just gets fucked up if I talk for too long or anything like that, so I am sorry. I'll try to make the episode shorter to avoid that. But anyway, hope that you all did enjoy, and hopefully my save, you know, does save. And if I, even if it doesn't, I guess I'll just get back to my spot and try it again. But, uh, yeah. I hope to see all of you next time. Goodbye.